Hello and welcome back to our probate and will section. In this video, I want to talk about integrating trust administration in your overall estate planning strategies. First of all, what exactly is trust administration? You just got the concept of trust down and now I'm springing something else at you, trust administration. Well, it's a fancy way of saying doing what the trust says. Trust administration is doing what the trust says. If the trust says pay out the beneficiaries right away, trust admin means paying out the property to the beneficiaries right away. If the trust says create new trusts for each one of the beneficiaries, then trust administration is just the process of creating individual trusts for the beneficiaries. So when it comes to trust administration, how do you think about that in the entire context of your estate plan? Well, for one thing, unlike our trust, we're not going to live forever. We age, we die. And so you have to think about who is going to take care of the trust property after you pass away. For many people, they expect the new trustee to do those things. But for some people, that trustee may need help. So whether the trustee is doing the administration by themselves or whether that trustee is going to bring people alongside them to administrate the trust, that's exactly what trust administration is. Trust administration and the trustee that you choose is the process of doing what the trust says. And so you have to choose somebody with the wherewithal to know their limitations and with the wherewithal to know who to bring alongside them to make sure that your desires within your trust is actually done. And so for many of us, you may go and have a consultation with the attorney that created the trust because now you need help in order to create the sub trust, if that's what the trust called for, to get the assets, to liquidate the assets and divide the assets among the beneficiaries. And so within trust administration and within your estate plan, you have to think about when and if you want these things to happen. You may want a piece of property to remain in your trust into perpetuity and you don't want it sold. And so you have to think about what that will look like when you pass away. Who, how is that trust going to be set up so that that happens? Your trust may call for something else. And so whatever your desires are, when you're originally setting up that trust, you have to think about what you want that legacy to be and how that will look when you pass away, how that will keep going step by step, generation by generation. My name is Megan Troig, lead estate planning attorney here with the law office where we love to treat you like family. And if you want a consultation, please click on our website, get our number, send us an email. We look forward to speaking to you. Hello, thank you for watching our video. And because you made it to the end of that video, we're offering you our new estate planning handbook. This is a wonderful tool and I'm sure you like it. Go ahead, download the link and let's get learning together.